one of the most exciting part of this as well. Well, I mean, it's um, it's one of the exciting things about it is that um, you get very clear equations that leads directly to biophysics and um, chemistry. All of a sudden, you can do like uh, you know an energetic uh, summation of uh, of a biological entity, like in terms of its uh, information transfer, in terms of its uh, energy in the structure of space, because now you have the direct equation for for that energetic um, interaction. Right. You know, you you understand yeah. the math. You understand how to calculate the energetic interaction of a system relative to space. So you have a direct computation to consciousness, you know, or yeah, at least yeah. self-organization, and then eventually consciousness. The equation, I'm, uh, I'm not ready to talk about it in too much detail, but I just want to say it's it's uh, E equals MC square, beautiful. Um, That's exciting. Yeah. I love it. We're all eager. <laughs> yeah, I, we had to recalculate it, you know, for like three days in every mm. single way we could to try to break it. Mm -hmm. um, to believe it wow. because it was <laughs> wow yeah. um just just tying it back before we start taking going into questions in the same just tying it back to where you began around our our need to come together and unify our human experience here it, it suggests to me that really finding the ways first of all to have the understanding is foundational to that occurring scientifically like you said and then to recognize that in order for that synchronization and resonance and you know all that alignment to come to be possible that needs to have that that flexibility in the system and the feedback in the system uh, in order for that to occur which there are reasons why that's not occurring so much right now um, and well, it seems yeah, like they, that will be a fundamental aspect of that yeah, I mean, possible. you could think of uh, setting up uh, social systems so that there is more feedback, you know, more feedback, um, exactly. and that there is more information transferred from all scales, you know, from, you know, yeah. Yeah. the top of the pyramid to the bottom of the pyramid to the from the bottom of the pyramid back to the top, yeah. right? Like, oh, is, yeah. is that yeah. second part it's really is key. important too, right? So. Yeah, um, the feedback yeah. has yeah, to be that's there. key right there. Yeah, that's the key because um, how can the people that direct know where to go if they don't get enough feedback from the population where they should go and what's working, mm -hmm. what's not working, and you know how to improve things. So that was the principle a little bit that was instigated in Switzerland, for instance, with, you know, people voting continuously on certain things, you know, like big things that were done by the government were always being voted on by the population and such. There'd be at least some feedback from the population of, because uh, the collective, um, the collective um, wisdom is important you know as well and and it's important that uh, certain that that all sides of opinions are considered so that we can all grow you know in um because all the different points of view have something to contribute yeah and you know. we need to be able to to question question what is being proposed in ways that will illuminate what 
collectively is being seen as accurate and what is otherwise right so that we can constantly be attending to that that, yeah. that that wisdom and that knowledge and mm -hmm. especially in the scientific community meaning yeah. um and and it is in the scientific communities just that the media seems to choose who gets you know even yes. with people with nobel prizes or being that's censored right. so yeah um well, but that's, that's, that's a whole really other issue um yeah it's a whole other issue yeah <laughs> No, but it's important but it's, to be able to hear all sides. You know, this is really, really a good thing. There's, there's good on, on all sides. Yeah, we need to have be able to have open, transparent debate uh, about all things, and that's that's not being allowed to be possible in, in many ways right now. But that's you can see it's that's the lack of or the uh, or the inclusion of feedback, and that's going to be critical to what makes the difference. So this, what you're, what you're creating, uh, what you're writing up with these equations and these papers certainly is gonna help to put forth the, the reality of how it's working uh, so we can get ourselves together. There's a really powerful possibility of, um, of making a huge difference technologically as well, uh, which is really, really yes. required right now uh, for our evolution. We have to find new ways of producing energy and transportation that are non-toxic to the environment. Yes. And we have to find ways to feed ourselves that is sustainable. Mm. And that includes, you know, the way we treat our oceans um yeah all of our water systems yeah yeah all of our water systems exactly yeah.